All right, let's check in on Tater. It's been a little bit over a week since he got fixed. And, hi buddy. Let's get the cord out of the way. All right, I'm gonna lie on the ground with you. Whoa, okay. So, you got fixed on Friday. Um, and today's Monday, but a week later, so a week and a half-ish again. Um, still wearing the donut. Supposed to have it on for two weeks, just to be safe. Um, so he's keeping it on, just so he can't lick himself, make sure that he stays nice and clean down there. You don't mind the donut, though. He doesn't mind it, because it's basically just like a pillow. I feel like the donut's a lot more comfortable than the cone would be. Um, Cause yeah, it is just kind of like a travel pill for a dog. As you can see, he has no problem sleeping with it on. I'm getting kind of bored though. I've started, I've started taking him out on like walks around the neighborhood again. Um, I took him out what yesterday. Yeah, I took him out yesterday. Um, I'll take him out today, um, just cause I mean, like walking around the neighborhood's not too physically active. He gets more exercise over at my parents running around with Luna. So I feel like he's gonna be okay just doing neighborhood walks. And he's gotten so bored. They want him to rest and I've been trying to get him to like take it easy, but like he still has plenty of energy. And since he's not on his painkillers anymore, he's basically back to normal. He just has to wear a donut. Um, so he could definitely use <laughs> a walk to help him burn off some energy and just to get out and feel like he's not quarantined so much. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna resume doing neighborhood walks. Look at you, you're so sleepy. We're gonna do some neighborhood walks for the next couple of days. And then on Saturday, um, it's Memorial Day weekend, so we are gonna go camping. And it's gonna be Tater's first camping trip, so that's exciting, he's gonna go camping for the first time. Um, we're gonna head out on Saturday, and then we're gonna be gone Saturday, Sunday, and we're coming back on Monday. And then, so that's gonna be his first camping trip. Um, and then he's going camping again in like another month when we're gonna go to Idaho um, and it, because they're having beach day there. It's at the lake, because there obviously there's no ocean in Idaho, um, but we're going to a lake beach day with a couple of his friends and we're camping for, what, two nights? So he gets to go camping again, and then in July, we have another camping trip. So he's gonna go camping at least three times this summer. Um, and each of them are technically in different states. Uh, our trip uh, for Memorial Day weekend is going to be in Oregon. Um, we're going out to Eastern Oregon, and then um, Idaho, of course, for Idaho Beach Day. And then we are gonna be going to Washington barely into Washington, just slightly over the border, but still we're gonna be in Washington for our July camping trip. So you are gonna to get to go to three states this summer. It's very exciting. He doesn't even know. He is conked out right now. Hi, dude. Yeah. Look at you, Mr. Donut Boy. Are you ready to open your bark box? Nope, can't reach anything back there. All you can get is your foot. All right. Let's open up your bark box. Are you gonna help? Are you helping? You got it? Da 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 all right, so it's Egyptian themed, this one. The age of the furrow. <laughs> you can't eat this, this is paper. Thank you for getting your snot all over it. This month we've been journeying back to the age of the furrow when dogs ruled ancient Egypt. On this very special day, your dog has been crowned the next furrow, a dro drooler of all the land. We humbly present these offerings of toys and treats so that they may play bleh, they may please your magnificent pup. Alright, so let's find out what we got. Oh, and then, oh yeah, and there's a little crown. And there's little stickers for it. Tater, are you the king of smooches? The 
king of snack stealing, the king of destroying toys, the king of begging, the king of bed hogging, the king of toots, the king of naps, the king of butt scoots, the king of howling, or the king of squirrel chasing. Or you can be a bunch. I'm the king of everything, Mom. Okay, I'm gonna put that there so you don't need it. What did we get? What did we get? We got slug bug beetle tug. Slug bug beetle tug. Slug bug beetle tug. What's this? Okay. And ooh, you got a snaky snake. You got Mr. Snaky Snake. What's his name? Flinging King Cobra. Ooh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Get him right in the face. Get him right in the face. What else did we get? One more. Oh, you got a little kitty cat. You got a little kitty cat. You got Meow. Meow Patra. The kitty cat. Oh, I'm a lucky boy. And then we got, what's this? Chicky, Chicky Twizzies. The doggy chew. You can't eat it in the wrapper. No. I have to unwrap it for you. Maybe if you're a good boy, you can have it. No. Leave it. Tater, leave it. Beef bites. <laughs> With real beef and cheese. Wow, these are big. They're like little pop or like paw prints. They're huge. I have to break these up. Meaty treats loaded with cheese. And carob co cock cookies. Wheat, corn, and soy free. Hand baked. Okay, these are some big biscuits this time. I'm gonna have to break these up in little pieces for you. Alright, what do you think? Hello, Terra Tot. It's Friday. I feel like half of the vlogs are just like me lying on the floor talking with Tater Tot. Hi, buddy. I actually don't lie on the floor with you that often, <laughs> normally. <laughs> we just always lie on the floor together for vlogs. Um, so it is Friday. It is Friday Memorial Day weekend, and as you can see, Tater is no longer a donut boy, so it's super exciting. Um, I got to take the donut off of him today, this morning. Um, the vet said that if he starts like licking to put back on, because he's still like, he's mostly healed, but he's still at the point where he could like lick himself back open. Um, so we're on our test run, but so far, the past couple hours, he's done a really good job of not licking himself at all. So he gets to stay a non-donut boy. Um, so we just did our lunch walk. I'm making some food for myself. And then um, finishing up the day of work. And then after that, we've got all kinds of prep to do because we're going camping this weekend. It's gonna be his first camping trip. I'm super excited. I think you'll be super excited once you figure out what camping is. Um, it's really well timed with him getting fixed and everything that he's able to go out and it's kind of his re-emergence into society. It's his post donut party that he gets to go camping after. Um, he got to see his friends on Wednesday, but he still had the donut on, so this is his first adventure without the donut. As long as you don't start licking yourself again. Um, so we're going camping, to leaving early tomorrow. Um, so after work, I have to do work on some prep stuff because Alex is working so gotta get the car all situated and get some groceries and like hand sanitizer and stuff because we're doing it real rustic um, campsite we're at like it's not really a campsite so much there's no like reserve spots there's like one bathroom like one outhouse um, so hand sanitizer and hopefully you don't get attacked by a scorpion they're supposed to be scorpions and I feel like he's gonna find one, he's gonna try and fight it. So pray for us. Look at you. You're being so cute. Isn't he so cute? He's so cute. Sometimes I just look at you and I just don't even know. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm just overwhelmed with love. 